everybody, welcome to another video. Now today's video is kind of a special review. First of all, it's not my model, but it's also a limited edition. Um, as you can see by the box, it is of course a Hornby A4. Now this one is part of the Commonwealth Collection, a limited edition of 1000. Um, the Commonwealth Collection contained... Uh, all the following A4s, Commonwealth of Australia, Dominion of New Zealand, Union of South Africa, Dominion of Canada, and this one. So that is um, a very interesting collection. Now this is Jacob's, uh, he got it for Christmas just in 2015, yes, <laughs> the last Christmas, and he got it for a fairly good price. Um, so turning over to the back, you've got the brief history, which you can read. Uh, 1930s Britain, blah, 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 mentions Mallard, and it, of course it has to, uh, about the actual one, LNER locomotive 4490 was outshot from Doncaster, 25th of June 1937, named Empire of India, it displayed cab plates displaying a crown and an Indian sun, on passing to British Railways in 1948 it was renumbered 600, Double one, and finished its career in Scotland working on the three hour Glasgow to Aberdeen Expresses. It was withdrawn from Shed 61B Aberdeen, Ferry Hill, on the 11th of May 1964, and sadly, unfortunately, cut up at BR Darlington Works on the 31st of May the previous year. We've got a very nice picture of the actual uh, Dominion of, I mean, sorry, Empire of India there. Um, so it's R3008, uh, BR462 class A4 locomotive, Empire of India Commonwealth Collection, and it is of course DCC ready. Now, very interesting there, it's upside down, but it also is limited edition right around the whole model. So I will speed up the footage and we will get this thing unboxed. Right, so when you unbox it, you are greeted with, obviously the locomotive will be in the tissue paper, um, but that has been taken out. You're greeted with a limited edition certificate, uh, Empire of India Certificate of Authentication. Uh, basically it just says what I read before. The Hornby model of Empire of India has been produced as a certified limited edition of 1,000 pieces. And this one is number 554 out of 1,000. And it is signed, well, printed, si the signature of Simon Kohler. So that's uh, very cool to note. Um, you're also greeted with the oh, horrible, world-renowned, ghastly DCC jacket. So that can be chucked away. Um, and the Class A4 instructions. Now, if you've been watching me for a good few years now, you will notice that, or you will... Uh, hopefully remember, that I have reviewed an A4 before, uh, which was also Jacob's other A4, which is uh, 4468 Mallard. Um, so you've just got lubrication, all that stuff, you can read it if you would like. There you go, blah blah blah, there we go. And now what you actually want to see is the model itself. Now I will just take it out of its uh, uh, block of ice or uh, polystyrene in this case. Right guys, so here we are with the model. Um, you can just, the first image you get is just, it's absolutely stunning. You know, Hornby have captured the lines and the, the aerodynamic uh, Bugatti uh, front streamlining excellently. Uh, starting off at the front of the model, You've got some lovely uh, fitted details down here, including a chain and uh, a vac hose. You've got uh, sprung buffers there, and, uh, and what seems to be a five chime whistle just above, or just below rather, the uh, the double chimney, and including also just below that is a lamp hook and um, the number plate. Uh, very nice riveting detail around the automatic opening uh, front smoke box door uh, of the A4 there and including some more lamp hooks down below. Uh, moving further along, uh, you've got a stunning etched nameplate 
uh, which I believe would have come se separately fitted, but this was a display model in uh, my local, or in our local model shop rather, so um, it has been uh, fitted uh, there. So lovely etch nameplates, Empire of India with the, the blue and the silver. Um, and some very nice uh, separately fitted handrails along there. Uh, what looks to be some sort of pipe work heading into the smoke box. Um, and the notable uh, A4 toolboxes or the boxes like lubrication points um, over just on the streamlining casing. Um, on the top of the model you have uh, some very nice riveting detail but the one downfall I have found with this is there is quite a prominent seam line in between those rivets which slightly lets down the model a bit. Um, uh, so that's, that's almost all the negatives I have with this model to be honest. Um, onto the cab you've got the two safety valves that are embedded into the streamlining You've got the uh, opening uh, cab hatches as well, which are very nice. Uh, the paint application around the cab, including that uh, Indian crest I mentioned earlier, is absolutely superb. And the, uh, as I said just prior, the uh, paint application is uh, gorgeous. Uh, some very nice aligning around the window, uh, just there the silver lining, some very nice details on the uh, loco. Now I've zoomed in slightly here to uh, look at the wheels because just the the fine quality of the linkage and the uh, it's, oh, it's stunning this just all of the metal parts and the, and the wheels themselves are just beautifully done um, if you can see sort of just under there that there is brake rigging fitted um, which uh, was previously fitted by the model shop I believe you've also got some sanding gear detail and uh, the front bogey just slightly out of shot there also some very lovely detail to note on this model is the absolutely superb uh, cab detail uh, you've got the lovely chairs for the fireman driver and all of the relevant uh, pipework and valves, all the uh, glasses and the firebox door just in there. And yeah, it's just the, the cab on uh, the Hornby A4 is absolutely stunning. I um, can't express that enough, actually. Uh, you know, that, that in itself would make me want to buy one if I ever did, because the cab detail is very, very nice. The only other real issue I have with this model is, of course, that plug. It's, it's annoying because you have to fit it every time you use it, and it's just a bit of a pain. The wires are quite thin, quite prone to breaking, and yeah, it's just, yeah, not, not, not great. Right, onto the Grizzly Corridor Tender now. Uh, this is a very nice model, actually, of of the prototype. Uh, this is in, or this particular locomotive slash tender is in BR lined green late crest. The uh, the cycling lion. Oh no, the other one, the other one, not the cycling cycling lion's the early crest. Uh, but yeah, so you've got some absolutely stunning uh, under frame detail modelling the axle boxes and the springs, um, and also some uh, very nice uh, handrail separately fitted handrails there. There are some very nice uh, uh, back tender, tender front, front, yes, tender front detail um, including the uh, the coal, where the coal shoots out and uh, modelling some, uh, let me just move it slightly, some modelling some um, where the loco and tender would normally be fitted if it was on a real A4. Also got the uh, brake the brake handles and various uh, things including the corridor just there which is slightly out of sight. Also interesting of note of this model is the coal load uh, which I believe is removable is quite realistic. It, it, I mean I will most likely go over this with some Woodland Scenics lump coal but for a, for a ready to run model the coal on this is actually really good. 
Um, also, just uh, in the top third of the picture, you can see the uh, the corridor that uh, engine crew would use to uh, replace crews during long haul runs from Ed Aberdeen to Glasgow or London to to Edinburgh. So yeah, very nicely modelled on Hornby's part. Also very nicely modelled uh, on this loco is uh, the the uh, corridor itself, uh, the corridor end, which is uh, very nice. You've got the uh, sprung buffers, which I can see, uh, sprung, there you go. And you've also got a NEM 362 slimline uh, pocket with a NEM coupling in it. Uh, as is standard nowadays um, and also some uh, just on top of there is uh, the filler cap which is very nicely modeled uh, or filler cap slash water breather um, also interestingly of note which I will include a close-up shot of is just under the corridor there is um, the Buckeye or the, the KD almost if you will coupler that was used to couple onto coaching stock to get a very very close coupling. Uh, this has been accurately modelled by Hornby and is a really nice addition to this locomotive. Right, so that concludes the review uh, segment of the Hornby Limited Edition uh, Commonwealth Collection A460011 Empire of India. Now all that's left to do now is give her a spin on the track, so I will see you over at the layout. Right guys, so we're here with our A4 on the track. I've already put it on the track because I had to fit that fiddly little uh, tender to loco plug. So um, I've got it hooked onto the Hawksworth because that's the only vaguely appropriate stock. I would have the Tegs but they're currently elsewhere on Jacob's layout. So the Hawksworth will, will have to do and it suits the BR Green quite well. So I thought that would be quite nice. Now a warning in advance. The layout is quite a mess, um, that will become apparent when you watch the running shots, <laughs> basically there's been some big changes, more will be covered next week in the March layout update where I'll talk you through it all, and also if you can spot a brand new addition, almost in this shot if you look very closely, uh, see if you can comment below and guess what, uh, what has arrived into the fleet. Um, but anyway guys, I thought we better, we better sort of run it I suppose. So uh, this is Empire of India, 60011, the A4. So let's see how she performs. Very nice pull away there. See you in a few minutes guys.
here we have it guys, the Hornby Limited Edition A4 60011 Empire of India. Well, it's pretty nice to be honest. Um, just the only real main letdown of this loco is of course that tender loco plug, which is a bit of a pain to do every time you use it, but other than that, it is a very, very nice model. Um, the detail's really nice, very nice livery application, um, and the fine uh, metal work of the underneath is absolutely beautiful. Uh, the coal uh, is fairly realistic for a ready-to-run model, and the cab detail is just to die for, really. Um, so, yeah, if you can get your hands on one, then I would certainly recommend it, as, as well as all of the other um, uh, Commonwealth Collection A4s. Uh, but other than that, I think that's about it. Great model, thanks to Jacob for uh, giving it to me for review. Um, and I will see you guys next week with another supposedly great video. So please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Like me on Facebook as Cruise Through Road 4472, you know what to do. And um, as always guys, see you later!